The mini star and bio star use positive pressure, which gives you superior adaptation to your model, ensuring the accuracy and fit of your appliance. These machines can significantly reduce your lab expense by increasing the variety of appliances you can do in-house. Most of the Technique videos in our Resource Center feature the BioStar because that's what we use in our commercial lab at Great Lakes. For most dental practices, the MiniStar is ideal. You can use the MiniStar to fabricate the same extensive variety of appliances that you can with the BioStar. Thermal forming materials for custom tray fabrication include preformed tray handle, spacer foam, and 3 mm thick blue heavyweight material. The stone construction model is prepared for tray fabrication. Identify moderate dental undercuts and relieve using snap stone or Great Lakes Light Cure Blackout Gel. Place the model into the pellet cup with the heel facing to the left side of the machine. Elevate the model to reference the top edge of the model base to be at the same height as the cup's rim. Fill in pellets between the model and cup's rim and sweep level with the brush. Make sure there are no pellets remaining on the cup's rim. The spacer foam is moistened with water. This will allow it to be easily removed from the formed blue heavyweight material. Squeeze out excess water from spacer foam material. Remove the Biostar pellet drawer for this application. Excess moisture within the spacer foam could flow into the drawer. Center the spacer foam over the model in the pellet cup. Clamp the 3 mm blue heavyweight material onto the pressure chamber. Identify the material's heating time or Biostar code and enter it into the machine. Swing the lamp over the clamp material to start the heating cycle. At the end of the heating cycle, remove the lamp from the material. Swing the chamber over the model and spacer foam in the pellet cup and lock chamber in place. Allow to cool under pressure for two minutes. At the end of the cooling cycle, release the pressure from the chamber. Then unlock the chamber and clamped material. Swing open chamber and remove form material and model from the machine. Peel off the spacer foam from the blue heavyweight material. With a carbide cutting burr and a lab handpiece, cut the tray body following the vestibular fold and heel of the model. Remove the cut tray form from the plastic disc. Using a carbide taper burr and a lab handpiece, tailor tray borders to follow soft tissue contours along the model base. Then with a sandpaper mandrel and a 3 inch strip of 150 grit sandpaper smooth trimmed borders.
Once the tray is trimmed, temporarily hold the preformed handle in position by heating the bite fork like ends with a butane torch. Mold them to the tray using gloves for insulation. Make sure to center the tray handle with the anterior ridge of the tray on the model. Secure the handle to the tray using Biocro resin. Mix monomer liquid and polymer powder to a maple syrup like consistency. Apply mixed resin to handle and tray area with a spatula. Place the model, tray, and handle into a humid pressure pot for 15 minutes. The pot's pressure is approximately 20 PSI and water temperature about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not submerge device in water. Evacuate the air pressure from the pot. Open the pot's lid and remove cured tray and handle. These technique videos, along with the other information on the Resource Center, can show you how to get the most from your machine and how to ultimately take control of your lab bill. Maximize the potential of your Mini Star.